Hello. It's been a while. I've missed a lot, and I've missed you guys a lot. So let's talk about some Beyblade news. So Takara Tomy dropped a pretty big bombshell of news recently, including the B190 all-in-one set and the B191 triple set, which has the evolution to Belial, which is actually not what I expected. Let's just go ahead and talk about this all-in-one set first. It's a stadium set that honestly, I don't think I'm gonna pick up, although it has some cool parts. This one's going to be dropping October 2nd and it has a gold dynamite Belial recolor and a purple and red Roar Bahamut. That Roar Bahamut looks nice. The coolest part of this entire set though is that it comes with metal drift. Takara told me, looked at my combo video Roar Bahamut on drift and they decided just to put that in a box and make it purple. Not everybody is a big fan of metal drivers though, so if you don't really like it that much, then that's okay. But with Roar Bahamut, it's not going to burst or slide that much, and it doesn't have any teeth, so you don't have to worry about that. But still, Metal Drift, it's cool. Still not going to buy the set though. I just have all this stuff already. I already have enough Dynamite Belial parts. I already have the stadium, and I have it in a clear color, which is better than the black, I think. I just don't need it, but are you guys going to pick it up? Now let's talk about the bombshell part of this video, the B191 triple set. It's called the Overdrive SP Starter Set, and it comes with a lot of really cool parts, the Dangerous Belial Evolution, and a bay that we've been wanting an evolution to for years. We finally got it, boys. We finally got it. First up, we have Savior Perseus in this really nice blue, white, and gold recolor that's mostly white, and I love the way that this thing looks. Sometimes Takara Tomy can do gold recolors that just look kind of, I don't know, they just look kind of tacky, they're a little bit too much, but this is a really nice balance of colors. Also, Perseus is really expensive to try and get if you want the special edition version, and now we're going to be able to get it in this set. And it also comes with freaking Bearing Dash, the meme driver that people have been joking about for years since it first came out, like, oh, if we got a Bearing Dash, <laughs> rip the meta, rip the meta. Although it doesn't have the red top like most Dash drivers do, so I'm thinking it's probably not gonna be nearly as strong as like attack type dash drivers, at least I hope not. But still, Bearing had a really weak spring and now that it's gonna have a stronger spring, could we see the return of Bearing in the meta? I don't actually think it ever disappeared, but it's definitely gonna be back now. Next up, we have the return of a legend, a bay that we've been wa I can't speak, I'm so excited. Next up, we have the return of a legend, a bay evolution that we've been wanting since Beyblade Burst, Chozetsu, or Turbo, whichever one you prefer. I even mentioned this bay in my top 5 Beyblades Takara Tomy forgot about video, and that is a brand new Phoenix. Now the parts for the bay are not great, we're getting Metal Universe, and we're also getting Tapered, or Taper, which is the disc from Vanish Fafnir, so kind of recycled parts but the actual layer portion looks really, really good. It's pretty much like Revive Phoenix on steroids. And yes, of course, since it is a Phoenix, it still has the gimmick where the outer ring can pop off during battle, which is, I'm just really hyped that we're getting a new Phoenix. And it also has a blader attached to it. And no, it is not Phi coming back. It's actually a new blader that is, I've heard the name Pain or Phenomenon Pain or Pain, Phenomenon, which, whichever one. Kind of a rumored name, but he does kind of draw inspiration from the evil version, like the dead Phoenix version of Phi. He kind of has that same look, and we haven't seen him yet in the anime, but it's cool that Phoenix isn't just thrown in there. We're actually getting it in the anime as well, which is really cool. And now we move on to the new Belial Evolution, Dangerous Belial, which is basically a Valkyrie upgrade. It kind of looks like Valkyrie a lot. We actually had some like leaked images come out a little while ago that I didn't want to make a video on. Uh, we didn't know it was Belial at the time. It could have been Belial. It could have been, you know, Rashad's 
Bay's evolution, and I thought it was Rashad's Bay because it looks like a Valkyrie so much, and I don't really know why they went this direction, but it looks a lot cooler now that we have good pictures of it. There's a lot of colors and kind of callbacks to the gears that we saw on Dynamite Belial. You have kind of blue in there for the F gear. You have metal on the layer, which is the L gear from Longinus. You have light orange plastic blades in there from, say, the S gear from Spriggan. It's just cool that the kind of Chimera Beyblade aesthetic is staying. All the parts combine into one. Especially since you can't use any of the gears from Belial on this. You can? Now this is the part that I was not expecting at all. I kind of assumed that they would mix all the pieces together and we would get just one big Beyblade. And that's what we got. But they actually have it to be compatible with the gears that have been released so far. I mean, look at this chunky thick boy. I This part was surprising. I don't know how it's gonna perform when it's so built up like this, but this thing has got to be super, super heavy. In fact, I want you guys to place your bets and put your suggestions in the comments to how many grams you think the full, perfect, dangerous Belial combo is going to be. It's, it's going to be ridiculously heavy. Now guys, let's talk about the driver that comes with dangerous Belial. It's a combined driver, which I'm not surprised about at all. It's kind of typical. We get this so late into Beyblade seasons, has quite a bit of metal on it, and it's kind of like an ultimate reboot or like a reboot sort of thing. Takara Tomy released a pretty dramatic video showing off the driver a little bit, calling it the overdrive or overdrive system, and it pretty much works like reboot. The driver starts off in a more stamina or at least more balance oriented mode, and then it shifts into an attack mode. I'm just not sure if it works like shot where it can be activated by contact or if it works like ultimate reboot where it's from the bay slowing down and losing spin. We'll just have to wait and see. And the set comes with a brand new orange and clear launcher, which looks pretty cool as well. Maybe pain or whoever uses Phoenix is going to use that one. We're just going to have to wait and see. This set comes out October 9th. I have not been able to pre-order it yet. Let's let's talk about that for a second. So typically, I pre-order my bays on Amazon Japan. Uh, I have quite a while to pre-order them until they go out of stock. Apparently, this set went out of stock really, really fast. And I almost, I almost pre-ordered it for 200 US dollars on accident. That's ridiculous. This set costs like 50 bucks. So hopefully pre-orders go up at another time or I'll have to order it from somewhere else like Mall of Toys, which you guys should check out. Link in the description. Use code one Linux. You know, you know the deal. But that is going to wrap up this news video. Haven't made a video in a long time. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the set, what you guys think of Dangerous Belial. And um, if you're going to pick any of this stuff up, I'm hyped to see your guys' comments and I'll see you in the next one. Have fun and bay away.